Hello and welcome to the Athos News. We're back. In today's headlines, Fungi gets a clean. Black Market relocated. Chest of Heights and a new flyby regarding deserts. Let's get on. First in today headlines, the shopping area has been infested with mycelium, with one shop particularly badly hit by the infestation. Following further cleansing, the shop is now fully cleaned, and we'll go over to the scene now. Here we are, it's Tony's end shop. It looks quite clean, doesn't it? We look around, hello Gollum. There's a blast furnace Gollum. Uh, it's looking rather clean. No mycelium, so the ritual that we understand is the shop owner, Tony, um, prayed to the blast furnace golem to clean his store of mycelium. And yes, we can see that that's a pretty good job. Uh, then downstairs, if we go up, then in the sections, the roof is being cleared. So looking good. In fact, this seems to be the store has been cleared as well. Um, it's looking really good. So, uh, good cleanup job there. Uh, we have confirmed with our scientists on the ground that the holy water used to clean the store um, will ensure that the fungi will no longer spread on the M block surfaces. Yeah, so a nice and safe store. However, as we all know from the mycelium, it actually grows underground. If we go down, it grows underground. So they've yet to see, we've still got evidence of mycelium around, especially around this shop and um, underground. So other shops may be affected. However, at the moment, scientists do not know how and when this may occur. But we will keep you posted if anything does happen. Back to the studio. Further to that, thank you for that report. The Black Market, an ongoing situation within the shopping district was located first and shut down by the sheriff and mayor originally. However, Aunt Molly and her gang reset up again. It's been reported that the sheriff has now relocated the second new position um, details of how the sheriff has done this will be released soon but the second location is now been located as of yet there is nothing from the sheriff or the mayor office on their current plans to shut the second black market down more on this new story where I go over to the scene now so in December the original black market was located here behind the eye store by um, and we've got a new building in behind us but shh, we'll report on that on its grand opening when it comes um a police sign was er erected around the site which obviously a uh, few people have crossed i do believe yes don't be the sheriff's gonna be too happy on that one um but the black market has not gone away and aunt molly has come back and here it is a second location. Um, Athos News has been given exclusive access to gain inside to have a look at the black market. Obviously, due to um, the secrecy, the code will not be given. However, the sheriff has discovered what this code now is. Um, so it'll be interesting to know from the sheriff on his plans and what to do with the black market and anything else that's going to happen to try and keep Aunt Molly and her gang from operating further. But one thing we have noticed down here in the black market is a bribery fund for the Bigos and Tony the Sheriff. Now, a bit interestingly, this is currently empty. Whether or not the bribe has been taken or not is yet to be seen. But down here, yeah, we have many good sources down here at the moment. Two books for one diamond. I mean, some good books there. Um, and as they go on and on and on, 
We have two shells, one diamond that they ran out. Uh, box full of stone, maybe. An ultra shulker box, not a bad price, really. Seven diamonds, five diamonds. So yeah, the menace of the black market continues to plague the sheriff and mayor. The mayor has um, not been seen now for quite a while. Um, and a temporary mayor has been put in place. Um, we're hoping for an interview with him at some point. Um, but the sheriff will um, will hopefully get an interview with at some point um, or a statement. And Athos News will be the first to report this once it's been submitted. Uh, what started as a seamlessly harmless three chest piled high within the future district is now skyrocketed way above anyone's expectations. No idea at the moment on who the suspects are. We originally know that Iska, Iska Botts, was the original person to place the three chests down whilst taking screenshots. But at the moment, no culprit has come forward on the addition of the chest. Suspects are known. However, no evidence has yet come to light that they have taken part in this. In relation to this area, new power grids are now being built to facilitate the new wind turbine, which is now been extended. Um, the new power grids will now run into the new apartments, which we understand now has been fully sold out, um, and the observing buildings around. Athos News will soon be moving into this area with a brand new studio, all the way down there. Um, and we are looking forward to our new home. And this area is getting more and more dangerous, so obviously more lighting is required. We're going to go back to the studio, and we'll report on this at another time. And to round up today's news, just some little light news. The desert area has seen a massive explosion in expansion. Um, the flyby today is courtesy of the members that have built up there, uh, which we believe will, is Stretzko Purple. Do you believe Garth, Darth, and Ashley, and anyone else we might have missed, we apologize.